dolphins, Tommy Tiger. Hey Rabbits, it's Trixie and since you are here watching this video, it means that you have access to the internet. And I hate bringing it to you, but the way people act online can be quite different to how they act in real life. They, for example, use a very distinct language. Yeah, there's lots of hating and cursing and pretending, but that's not what I'm getting at. What I'm talking about is the written language, or more precisely, the way that people tend to shorten certain expressions. Acronyms, to provide you with the proper term. Words or more like letter combinations that we use when we text, chat or write a comment under the news, don't trust the rabbit video. But since writing takes a long time and it's difficult to show emotions, these acronyms serve two purposes. It's faster to write them rather than spelling out the whole word or phrase. And some of them are basically the written out versions of emoticons. A very famous acronym is LOL, which actually means laughing out loud. Even though in 99% of cases that's practically a lie. And the person writing it most likely sits in front of their phone like LOL. Then there are FAQ, OMD, TGIF, you get the point. Now on the internet, people from all over the planet come together. So naturally, every language has its own acronyms. With English being the top one world language though, it's definitely helpful to know the most important English ones to survive online. As a person myself who loves computers with a job in the video game industry, my own YouTube channel and a developer and gamer boyfriend, I am quite confident that I know what most English acronyms mean. You know, even though I'm German and English is a foreign language to me. But what if I'm too confident? To find out whether that's the case, I decided to challenge myself. I asked Eric to collect a bunch of English acronyms that I will now read out loud and tell you what they mean, if I know it. Will I get them all right? Or is this going to be a huge fail? Only one way to find out. So the question for today's video is, do Germans know common English internet acronyms? Or are they like, what the I'm German, what is happening here? I have the list right here, so let's go. Why is my phone so dirty? <coughs> okay, so the first one here is WTF. And since I just used it, you know that I'm very well aware of that one. It means what the f And I'm using that quite a lot myself. The next one is TBH. And I also know that one, it means to be honest. It's like when you're about to share your sincere opinion and you want to warn the other person. TBH, your channel sucks. Yeah, thanks for that. Next we have H-A-N-D. So it's like hand. Never seen that before. Hand. Oh, I should better take the other hand because this is the internet. Hand. So is it like talk to the hand? But that would be T T. <laughs> you said T D. <sighs> so let's see. H A N D. Meaning. Have a nice day. That actually makes a lot of sense. However, if you really want to wish somebody a nice day, you should invest enough time to spell that out. Now, F Y I. FYI, I know that that means for your interest. IRL in real life. LRL. LRL. I mean, RL should be real life again. What could real life be? Maybe lousy real life? Okay, let me check. Lexicon der rumänischen Linguistik. I don't think so. Oh, laughing really loud. Well, I guess that's what people do when they look at my lousy real life. Next is LMAO. Laughing my ass off. Why would I slap myself? Why did I even do that? Wouldn't it be weird if that could actually happen? That somebody laughs their ass off? What would that even look like? A person without an ass? How would they poop? <laughs> Enough! Um, TIA. TIA. <sighs> to... To infinity and beyond. Where's the B? That's like a Buzz Lightyear that gave up on his dreams. T-I-A. Transistorische ischemische Attacke. Nein. Okay. <laughs> Um, it appears that it means several things, like thanks in advance, this is America, and today I ate. So, English native speakers, how do you use it? FTR. FTR. The raptors. Raccoons. Rabbits? Fuck the rabbits. Or is it like FTW for the win? For the... Oh, for the record. It's for the record. <coughs> 
<coughs> Trixie, what are you thinking? D F T T. I don't know that either. Dolphins. Tommy Tiger. Ah. Don't feed the trolls. G T F O. Get the f out. S M D. Huh. I don't know why, but this has a weird vibe to it. It's like something rude. Would you be offended if I said SMD to you? <sighs> that was the moment of realization. <laughs> yep, suck my. Beep. Now, why MMD? You, you made my day? TLDR. Too long, didn't read. So this video would be TLDW. Too long, didn't watch. AFAIK, as far as I know. ATM at the moment. WFM. <sighs> okay, so works for me. Well, that didn't work for me. TMI, too much information. SRY, sorry. Even though it's kind of pointless to shorten that. NVM. Never mind. FFS for f**k's sake. Hey, I wanna roll. IDK, I don't know. AFAP. I only know ASAP, which is as which is as soon as possible. But this is isn't it weird that it spells a fap? So basically what you are to most people on YouTube? That's not true. Only like five percent. So if it's not A S A P S soon as then it's as as far as as far as possible why did this take me so long Oof, that's a long one l m g t f y let me google that for you see you yeah that's just see you i love how many letters in the english language are actually words so you can do things like see you tonight k okay? and if you had a friend called arthur you could write him c u r t and he would wonder why you call him Kurt. FML, f my life, my lousy real life. <laughs> SMH, smack my head, like, ooh, it's actually shake my head. Some things are not as complicated as I think. Then I can only SMH over my own complicated thinking. THX, thanks, PLZ, please. AFK, gamer girlfriend, away from keyboard. GG, good game. F T F Y for the that must be either for the or the no it's actually fixed that for you I guess no one ever fixed something for me B R B be right back Ta -da! I am O in my opinion or I am H O in my honest opinion because the first opinion was a lie T B H and the last one. BTDT. Sounds a bit like R2D2, but I know that that means been there, done that. Being the sidekick for Trixie's videos, been there, done that. All right, Robins, these were all the acronyms that I had on my list. So, do Germans understand English internet slang? As for me, I would say roughly two thirds of it, or was that too optimistic? I'm actually quite surprised how many of these acronyms I did not know. I mean, I spend a lot of time online and I read and speak and write English all the time. So, yeah. Ausbaufähig. Also, what I find quite interesting is how rude and curse-based most of these acronyms are. There was so much f and f and ding dong going on. What does that tell you about us, about the internet, about language? Let me know what you think in the comments. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If so, please leave a like because that would make me really, really happy. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook and here is another video that you should definitely check out. Subscribe to Don't Trust the Rabbit and activate the bell because YouTube cannot be trusted these days to see more of my videos and if you want to support my channel even a bit more, you can also find me on Patreon. I would really appreciate your help. Now, hand and see you!